Amanda, it's the Women's Box Cup coming up this weekend at the Guildford Spectrum. Uh, just tell me, first of all, your thoughts on last year's event. It was the first year the event was held. Yeah, the event last year was absolutely fantastic. A great advertisement for female boxing. Fantastic that England boxing were able to put on such a prestigious event um, to promote women's boxing and the attendance, uh, the participation, the level um, of the boxers that attended was, was superb. So great that we can progress from last year's uh, increasing the numbers for this year's and, and moving, uh, moving as well to get more international boxers into the tournament. I think it's, a, it's an amazing uh, idea. You've obviously seen it in action now. How much would you have loved to have competed in this when you were still boxing? Oh, 100% I'd have been uh, getting the name uh, down straight away to attend if it was around when I was competing. You see, the thing with female boxing is there's not that many that you can compete against. So actually having an additional uh, international style event like this just gives you that extra chance to just get more competitive opportunities that you're struggling with. Sometimes you're boxing the same girls or, you know, a club show here and there if you're lucky, your championships, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, but this just puts that on the, on the agenda, the calendar, so that you get another chance and it's the back end of the year, which is great. Just finish the year on a real high. Um, and yeah, I'd have been delighted to have uh, this on the calendar when I was competing and 100% would have been attending uh, to get more, more, more opportunities to compete. I guess the idea behind it is, is twofold, really. One, trying to drive the participation numbers up, but also trying to drive the standard up as well. Yeah, d double figure, exactly what you're saying there. So numbers, uh, the retention as well, you know, keeping more, more girls involved in the sport, giving them something to aim to. But also, yeah, the, the extra competition is going to ultimately drive up technical and tactical ability, which then, you know, the levels of, of our boxers, our female boxers within the country, it's just going to increase, you know, the standard's going to get better and we're just going to keep driving forward um, with, with, with the, the standard of female boxing within England, which, which is fantastic. And how important do you think it is this year that it's going to be on the BBC for the first time to give women and girls that platform to perform? Amazing, absolutely amazing opportunity. And again, you know, if I was boxing, I was come to this event, and now I've been told it's going to be shown on BBC. Oh God, I'd be, I'd be so proud and honoured to be taken part. And I'm sure the girls that attend uh, this weekend are going to be absolutely delighted to be taken part and known that you know maybe friends, family that are unable to attend and travel can actually be at home and watch and support as well. And it's going to impact impact the bigger audience. You know, it's got a whole range of different advantages to to having this uh, showcase. So absolutely amazing, fantastic, and really, really excited to get there and watch it myself. And I guess as an England development coach, you're going to be on the lookout for some talent. It give you an extra chance, I guess, to look at some of the girls who's uh, going to be boxing. Yeah, great opportunity for me to go along, see the girls that are out there, and not just the ones that we know about, actually the future as well, the ones that maybe have only had a handful of contests or maybe no contests at all if they're in the, the, the smaller category, um, and just see who's out there, what the level is, start identifying some, some real potential and, and getting that talent ID early doors. Um, really, really excited to, to see what's out there, yeah. And this is one, one initiative from England Boxing uh, that, that's obviously part of a, a set of things that's designed to increase participation. Just tell us about some of the other things that uh, England Boxing are involved with in terms of the women's side of things. Yeah, so I mean, you can go straight over to the coaching side. Um, Yorkshire's had a fantastic initiative of a female-only level one course, which has just rolled out and been a huge success. So that's, again, another... Um, another pillar I suppose to what we're looking to drive forward more female coaches within the sport and that's going to eventually get rolled out in different regions as well which is great um, one of the, the pilots uh, that I ran this year was called the Women's Aspire Programme held up at EIS in Sheffield at the home of GB Boxing uh, Officers of England Boxing where we invited in every region to have 10 guests to come in, 10 females, regardless of age, regardless of experience, everybody came, uh, three coaches from each region and everyone just working together towards the, the bigger goal of getting more girls involved in the sport, driving the development opportunities within that and the inter-region, inter inter-sparring and, and inspiration and motivation opportunities that come with it. So, you know, England Boxing are doing a great thing here um, uh, to develop women's uh, boxing from participation through to um, coaches uh, and no doubt officials, etc. as well, which is great. Thanks very much, Amanda. You're welcome. Thank you.